Most of us do want the latest tech in our cars, but what do we really want when we say that? What really separates great car infotainment from meh? I'm Brian Cooley with the top five great attributes of excellent car electronics. Our data comes from GFK Research, one of the largest consumer research firms in the world that's recently asked US, Japanese, German, and Italian customers, these are four big car making cultures, what they really value in car infotainment systems beyond the specific features. Here's what they learned. See how well it matches to your gripes and delights. Number five is, believe it or not, waterproofness. I think Americans' universal habit of nursing a damn cup of coffee or a bottle of water every second they're behind the wheel is spreading around the world. In particular, US and Italian drivers were really vocal about waterproof car electronics. Expectedly, those tidy Germans cared the least about it. They don't even trust cup holders yet. Number four, replaceability. In other words, can you upgrade the tech that comes in your car? We used to do this a lot back in the 70s and 80s with new car stereos. Today, this could be either another better head unit for your vehicle, or lately, it might just mean a tablet sitting on a slick car mount. We started thinking about what's going to be better tomorrow, thanks to how good our phones are today and tomorrow. Number three is colorful. This may sound silly, but it's not. Hop into a car with a monochrome or a two-color display. Then get in one with a full color display and you get it instantly. It's not about pretty colors per se. It's about how information design really falls into place when color is well used by designers to delineate functions and features on the screen. Now consumers don't put it in those terms, but they get it. Number two is easy access. This mostly refers to how easy it is to access what you want the system to do. Now, some folks laugh at recent Chrysler units for almost looking kind of cartoony in their simplicity. But don't laugh too hard because they also score tops on consumer satisfaction because no one likes a system they can't figure out, no matter how many things it could do if you just knew how. Number one is interoperability, interestingly enough. Globally, more and more consumers are saying, I want tech in the car that works with the other stuff I already own, my phone, my tablet. This is outranking almost any other attribute. Whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone, or if you're one of those nomadic tribes still using Blackberry or using a Windows phone, this is fascinating because it underscores how much the car makers and audio format makers are now the tail that gets wagged. Our mobile devices are what we want our car to wrap around. High-tech cars and modern driving, that's all we do at CNETOnCars.com. I'm Brian Cooley, thanks for watching.